So obviously on this channel, I talk a lot about my own investing ideas, my own investments, my own theories, my own craziness, madness, and all that stuff. And obviously behind the scenes, I track my own investments. I know how my own things are going, uh, you know, what's working, what's going good, bad, whatever. And I'm always learning, but I want to know what your guys' investments would be like and how they would perform. So a new series I want to start on this channel, or at least try to start, see how it goes, is investing in the things that you guys tell me to. We're going to be starting a community portfolio on this channel that I'm going to be tracking using um, a spreadsheet and you know if this thing goes well I want to update it you know maybe once a month to continue buying things um, that you guys recommended that you guys make you guys make all the decisions with this so I asked on Twitter and I asked on YouTube what should I invest in and in this video today we're gonna to be going over the results we got from those comments and then hopefully start building this thing out for the future um, but of course first just want to mention real quick if you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method you should definitely hit me up over on Twitter it's gonna be the first link in the description below we're buying pretty much anything and everything for the right price so if you have some stuff to sell and you need some IRL money uh, or want to switch up your portfolio or inventory for whatever reason, hit me up. We can probably get a deal done. And of course, you're helping support me and my channel, my content by selling to me as well. Uh, with that being said, let's get right into this today. So uh, here is the first original post. I said, what should I invest in? Want to start a series where I track a portfolio that is only investments from Twitter and YouTube. I put this out on Twitter as well. And we didn't get a ton of great replies. Honestly, a lot of people were saying uh, like, look, we got nose candy, VU, which is um, an ETF for the stock market. I don't know if it's the total stock market or if it's like a spy tracking or whatever, one of those two things. Um, but either way, I was talking about CS2 stuff. Obviously, I thought people would kind of get the gist of that, but I got a lot of non-CSGO stuff or CS2 stuff. Uh, Wiggy said Pokemon booster boxes. I'm currently buying one to two of every new booster box coming out, which uh, I do have some Pokemon card investments actually, and that's definitely not something I would recommend doing. I would in, uh, recommend investing in some of the older, more rare stuff, not the modern stuff, but whatever. Uh, this guy kind of gave us his whole life story. Story. This person said mental health and fitness is always a good way to invest. Finally, we get to our first real answer here from Jimmy Henson, who says dream hack baby. And I'm actually down for that. So uh, what I want to invest in as far as dream hack, we want to start this portfolio out small. You know, I'm thinking about spending maybe 50, 100, $150 per um, kind of item here. So we can start seeing uh, if there's any good dream hack uh, 2014 stickers for us to invest in. And uh, one I talk about a lot and where my mind has been going is this I buy power dream hack uh, 2014. I want to see exactly what the prices are so we're around three hundred dollars um for a i buy power paper for dreamhack 14 so i don't know if that's the best way that i want to start this off right now but it is definitely an idea um i was wanted to look towards a little bit more of the cheaper end obviously i know that a lot of uh dreamhack 14 stuff is going to be a little bit more expensive but also for this we're just mostly going to go off of uh csgo stock prices just because they're going to be the steam prices and we'll just go off whatever this says and um you know buy the stuff through steam or, or just however i can find it some of the stuff i'm going to be able to find on float or buff market or steam or whatever but uh, we'll start out with the Dream Hack 2014 Hellraisers paper for $71.86. We will throw this onto this portfolio. I'm also going to track this portfolio against um, Bitcoin and against SPY to see um, not only if these uh, you know investments do well and perform over time and if they beat the, the CS market, which there's a million ways to track that, but also if they outperform Bitcoin, uh, you know, crypto, or if they outperform uh, just the U.S. stock market as well, because those are going to be uh, very interesting things to track. So we have the Hellraisers uh dream hack 14 paper uh and again buying these on august price uh this is going to be eight four where i'm buying these uh for the price of 71 dollars 86 cents so the community portfolio has its first ever purchase i'm going to be trying to pick this up you know for somewhere ballpark around this price or whatever if we need to make changes or whatever but um it being close enough will at least be fine and we can also just use it to track um along this as well um next up we have precious metals again we got more of this and then rosin fly fishing um, saying and hopefully in the future and you guys can comment on this video uh, for the next time we update the series which will probably be a couple weeks if not a month from now uh, I want to use comments from on this video recommend what you guys think that we should buy uh, in the next update to this uh, you know for like September what we should purchase in September um, so I, I want to pick you know four or five things hopefully every month but obviously this month we're just going to have to go with whatever we had so uh, make sure you comment on this video I'll probably put out another post in future as well but this guy says cobblestone stickers they look sick are quite low right now and we'll spike with new cobble speculation
speculation, you know, if some kind of new cobble comes out, uh, and are undervalued relative to, uh, relative to other stickers in the capsule. So um, I believe he is talking about this uh, cobble hollow, which I actually do think is a very, very cool sticker. Um, uh, you know, this is a sticker that I, I don't actually see a ton, but I, I could actually see it used a lot in crafting and stuff like that. Um, but the only problem with this sticker is it's relatively new. This thing came out in 2022. Uh, and if I'm correct, I believe it's in a capsule that you can actually still purchase um, from the CS store right now. So obviously, to me, that's not a great investment um, until it actually gets removed from the store or whatever, which God knows when that'll be. And obviously, items that are in the store usually have very, very high um, you know, quantities and stuff like that. This thing also doesn't have that good of a looking graph. Yes, over time, it is up 59%. But uh, in the past year, it's down. And it's pretty much flat over the past year. So it's actually not too bad. But yeah, this graph doesn't look like it's just continually going up over time. It's actually been pretty flat. Um, but whatever, you know, you guys are the experts here. We're going with the cobble hollow um, for a dollar. So we'll pick up a hundred um, of the cobble hollow for around a dollar, dollar fifteen, whatever. So we have the cobble hollow uh, times one hundred, uh, and these are going to be a dollar fifteen each. Um, so obviously that's going to get us to you know one hundred fifteen dollars. But uh, I'll just track the price of one, so we can do you know kind of percentages and stuff like that. Then uh, that's all we got on YouTube. So that takes us to Twitter where I said the same type of thing. I said, what should I invest in? Thinking of starting a new series where I track a portfolio of only Twitter and YouTube's recommendations uh, and the same type of stuff. We did get a lot of people, um, you know, saying this, uh, Rich saying, hey, damn, I had this idea, but I can't start it. I told him obviously just to fake it. Sometimes you got to fake it uh, for the content. And obviously the data and everything you're going to get from this is way more important than, uh, you know, whether you actually buy the stuff or don't buy the stuff or can afford everything or not. doesn't really matter. Uh, gold coins from Mortal Online 2. Don't even know what that is. This guy said TXRH, which is Texas roadhouse stock uh but we did get two um legitimate responses here this guy says paris and this made me dive deeper into paris which i actually think is interesting right now because paris has gotten absolutely slaughtered um over the past couple of years and stuff um so what do paris investments look like today it made me want to look at um obviously paris capsules um and uh, honestly, uh, I don't really even know which Paris capsule I want at this point. You know, Paris Contenders was so hyped up because of Mao's, but now Mao's got another new sticker and Mao's is just kind of really trash. Challengers had a couple interesting and unique stickers with like Gamer Legion and Apex, but now those are kind of trash. So really Legends is the only Paris sticker capsule that seems pretty interesting to me at this point because it's got Fnatic, it's got Into the Breach, it has um, nine, at least a couple different unique stickers with Fury, which is always cool. Uh, and it made me notice that Paris is actually up 10% over the past month which is kind of interesting um and maybe we're buying the dip maybe we're getting these at a really low price maybe we're buying these at a low i don't know this could actually potentially be a really really big pickup uh, i think buying pairs now obviously is a way better time to buy than like uh, a year ago when this stuff came out i don't know we're buying the paris legends capsule uh I guess we're picking up a thousand of these. Uh, I don't even know um, at uh, 15 cents. So again, I believe that's going to come out to $115. Uh, yeah, these are 15 cents right now uh, on CSGO stock, at least according to CSGO stock up to $15 now again with a low of 11 cents, which is really, really, really crazy. Um, doesn't really make sense to me. And then finally, Diddle says low float mill spec operation riptide skin. So we go to the operation riptide case uh, and we look in the uh, mill spec skins and we see uh usps black lotus sounds good to me um so i do really like the black lotus line obviously with the uh, m4 black lotus coming out it kind of even adds that line and makes it more interesting um as far as how this looks as an investment they're up about 62 percent in the past year so it seems pretty damn good the graph looks pretty decent just kind of continually going up over time this one doesn't seem too terrible seems like an overall pretty uh legitimate or logical choice we're getting the usp black lotus 895 so we'll pick up like 10 of these um, at 895 hopefully in that ballpark we have the usp black lotus factory new times 10 uh, and those are going to be 895 but again this is uh, all of the you know legitimate cs2 item submissions that we got uh for the first round of this so these are the four items that we're going to be starting out with and again i will track the prices in september see how this uh, portfolio continues to grow over time if we want to make changes like if you guys vote on hey we should sell this or we should buy this or we should exchange this or we should get this instead i'm down for whatever i want you guys need to be the boss of this community portfolio i want to track it over time see how it goes and i think it should hopefully be a fun interesting video series um so again if you have ideas for what we should add to this community portfolio uh hit me up on youtube twitter uh, or on this video maybe we'll have some polls i don't know there's a lot of different ways we could go with this but i just want to see how your guys investing ideas perform over time uh, and i think it should hopefully make a pretty fun and interesting video series but that's pretty much it for this video today guys hopefully catch the next one until then peace